Assalamu alaikum. This is Ashira Malka with a recap of the topics that we've covered in this Q&A series. For those who have heard the message and believe the report of coming out of America, I am here for you to provide some comfort, some wisdom of my experiences living in the lands of the Middle East, like Egypt, since spring 2021. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Yah Yehoshua, and the Holy Spirit. As I continue in this series, I'm encouraging every last one of you all from this peculiar audience to give me your questions in the comments section below, and I will do my best within my wisdom of the Torah and in all discretion to give you your answers that you're looking for. So far, we've already covered the commandment to come out of, of, out of America. This is to be holy as Yahweh is holy, to be clean as he is clean, and to live a life of righteousness. I have lived in this land for over a year now. It is a new life living completely in Torah, which requires a full repentance, a full repentance of our hands in living in America. That includes covetousness, the pride of life, business that is not of any righteousness whatsoever. So repentance looks like action. This is something that we are working working towards in the path of Yah Yehoshua. And so we are called to be a peculiar people. There are different processes for different people uh, concerning your, your circumstance. So in any information that I give you, please do your research, use your discretion, take notes, make phone calls, compose emails, and do your due diligence. Uh, in the topic of passports, it's important to follow through with your application process. If there are some missing points, follow through. Do not let your passport application fall in the wind. Passports for uh, single parents with minor children, I am going to provide a link where you can go to a form for your particular circumstance. I understand that there are some parents who um, are not together as pairs. There are single parents who have no communication with the other parent whatsoever. There is a process to go through with this. So I'm providing a link of that in the description box for your due diligence. Um, in all things, we want to give gratitude and honor and praise for Yah Yahweh because he is the creator of all things. He wants to make sure that we are doing our part first before he moves on our behalf. And that is simply being obedient. We have to be obedient to the call. And as Yah sees our obedience, he will bless our way. So when you put the passport uh, application in and you do everything within your power to make sure that you do your part, the rest is in Yah's, in, is in Yah's hands. Amen. One of the first things that shows anyone, even Yah, that you belong to him and you're committed to his ways is keeping Shabbat. Shabbat is in between the evenings of Friday and Saturday. This calls for a complete rest in him. This also means that you are not to work, that you are to prepare a double portion of your meals and to make the Shabbat a delight. I've already covered things um, that you can um, incorporate in keeping Shabbat. This includes a Seder, which um, uh, composes of... Uh, salt, bread, wine, and a light. It's important as you keep Shabbat to uh, make it separate from all other days. This includes preparing your light before the sun goes down. So please visit the Shabbat uh, portions of my Q&A topics. And of course, as I go about these question and answers, um, I will provide more insight as to how you can make your Shabbat a delight and how I have uh, been keeping Shabbat in my own um, community. We are keeping ourselves set apart as far as dietary laws, the way that we speak, the way that we think. And Torah requires that we do no witchcraft. This in particular uh, is concerning messing with the blood. People have asked me 
is it mandatory to get a snake bite as you travel in these lands? And as it stands right now, the answer is no. Bless ya that we are um, in a space of grace so that we can continue to walk this out the best of our abilities. But while there is a window of hope, we want to make sure that we are not defiling our bodies with any pharmacia. That includes any vaccines that they claim is um, a healing agent. We know that Yah Yehoshua is the healer of all nations. And so we want to make sure that we keep our temples clean and pure. This also includes um, some wisdom on nasal swabs, also the mouth swabs that a lot of the um, corporations are saying uh, people can do in order to get a, ne a negative PCR test. You do not need to intrude into your nose, into your mouth, into your body to get a negative result. There is wisdom at every corner of this walk. Yah is calling us to repentance and to obey his commandments. He will not put more on us that we can handle and he will allow us to um, move in wisdom where it obeys him and it also obeys the laws of the lands as they stand. Hallelujah. Isaiah where Yah's wisdom concerning us who are returning, he says that we are to walk in humility and in quietness. That is our confidence in him. That means that every portion of who we think we are, we have to dumb ourselves down, especially in these lands. That is the way that we dress, some of the things that we put on our heads, some of the things that we put around our waists. These things we have to do away with. In these lands, there are lots of terrorist activity, lots of threats, lots of fanatical ideas concerning religion. You want to make sure that you are set apart from that. Make sure that your speech concerning religion is little to none in these lands. We want to uh, walk as wise and as circumspect, that means educating yourself about these lands. This is a Muslim country. They are highly religious. They have a set of rules and standards that even tourists have to adhere to. We have to, of course, set ourselves apart. And in doing this, um, little by little, Yah will show us the wisdom on how to shed our light, how to share our testimony. There are already people in these lands claiming to have extremist ideas concerning identity. This is a no, no. Please do not come out with the way that you have thought in America. America has a standard of free speech, of free thinking, of free um, lifestyles and everything like that. You cannot do those things here. So in repentance and confession and turning to Yah's commandments, there is an ancient path, an ancient way that we are supposed to walk. So with that, please be mindful of your behavior in these lands. I understand that there is a formality of ignorance that um, some of these questions are being asked um, about when and where and how will we know when to come out of America, when danger is, in, is coming, what are the signs, what are the times. However, um, some of you all are familiar with the message to come out. So it is actually an, a very evil thing to ask me or anyone else in this walk. Is there something that we can lend or give to those who are in America um, that will show you all that it's time to go? I've shared that there are hundreds, even thousands of black Americas, Americans leaving America because of what they obviously see on the news and in, in politics um, and mandating snake bites and things of that nature. These are the signs that it is about to go down. So um, be mindful when you are asking your questions. I have been on YouTube for a long period of time. So I have um, discretion in the way that I uh, answer questions. Um, I don't know everyone's faces. I'd, you all know what you see 
as far as my character and what I've shown and what I've proven, but I don't know you guys. I have an obligation, a responsibility to safety and security of my well-being and that of the people that I am living amongst. The last topic that I've covered so far is learning the language. I've been in the Middle East, which is predominantly Arab speaking, um, and I have learned some language uh, in Arabic. Um, some people would consider uh, hiring a teacher in order to learn Arabic. Arabic is a very difficult language, so if you are serious about it, hire an Arabic speaking teacher, uh, whether that be for an interpreter when you go down to the visa office or for all of your different kinds of needs. Um, of course, you um, get what you pay for. Everything in this world costs, so of course you have to be mindful when you're hiring an interpreter or a teacher, your budget and um, a reasonable, reasonable price for them um, to continue their way of living. Our walks of righteousness is to look um, set apart in nature and our um, call to repentance looks different on different scales. We have all been guilty of covetousness, of having more than we should have. Uh, we all are guilty of working the system in America. And so with these types of behaviors, you cannot work this way in these lands. We are not squatters. We do everything legally, and it is encouraged to do the same. Continue to put your questions in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And I hope to see you, Yah willing, in the next. Topics concerning visas, as well as housing, and other important information that will help you along in your exodus to come out of America. May Yah be with you, may he bless you, and may he guide you in all truth. Shalom, shalom.